Mom, you okay? Think about 
you could be out here on your deathbed, dead, and you got a lot to live for. There's some people trying to take their lives right now. You have a lot to live for. How you doing, sir? You know? Yeah. You have a lot to live for. People who need to take God give a life, a life more abundantly. People need to take their lives seriously and not play with their lives. People allow people to have that's with emotions and you know, play with their heart. But don't play with God's heart. You know what I'm saying? Because God did a lot more than other people could ever do for you or do to you. God did so much for you. You have a lot to live for. If God said he gave you life, a life more abundant, be considerate of that. Be thankful. Be grateful. Count it all joy. Don't let nothing separate between you and the love of God. This is what true and my I am at outside back of my um sister's apartment and um I'm just chilling, you know. Just wanna share a couple of thoughts about insecurity being done wrong or so on or whatever you want. But um I got a question to ask you. Maybe you can have the answers. I don't know. Um, if a woman accuses you of seeing somebody and telling you why you always gotta um leave at nine o'clock at a certain time. You don't need that. I mean that I believe Love is based on trust. You have to have trust. You know what I mean? I had a lot of trust issues at the time. It took some time for me to understand what the other person's coming from. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, being insecure. I didn't even know what the word insecure means, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know. But when you lose somebody that you really care about, then, you know, life, life um, will take you where you need to go if you want to go there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had my heart broken so many times, but I thank God for my trials and tribulations, what I've been through, what I've been at. And where God is taking me. You know what I'm saying? God allows things to happen to you for a reason. Some people come your life for a season. Some people come your life for a lifetime. Well, I know I have a job I have to do. We all have to stay on our job. Um, a man's job is three things. Provide, excuse me, serve, provide, and protect. That's a man's job. Who you serve? You serve God. You serve your wife and your kids. You know? You're a server of the Lord, of the Most High. When you learn to love God and learn His statutes and His ways and how He do things, then you can teach your family how to follow his procedures. I don't know about y'all, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I love hard. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't make any sense for me to just get just anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want just anybody. You want the person that God set you up with. You know what I mean? Because what's, what's for you is for you. But God set together let no man set asunder. Being real with you on this, you know what I mean? Everybody, even the person you wear right now may not be for you. It may be for a season. 
you, no matter how much you want to be with that person, if it ain't, if God's will is not in that person for y'all to be together, then y'all not going to be together. I had a high school sweetheart. I thought we was going to get married and everything else, and it didn't turn out to be that way because it wasn't God's will. You know what I mean? Everything's happened for a reason. You just have to trust God to um, lead you and guide you. Yeah. Hey, just don't give up and just have faith. You know? Um, but yeah, this is Decatur County. Um, famous Georgia to be exact. Um, I had got my heart broken. Like I said, twenty times before. Someone, I'll tell you one story. Someone told me that they went to see that. And making excuses, telling me to take a video off of Facebook. Why? What you have to hide? But God allowed things to happen for a reason. I can't not explain why I went through what I went through. But, when you really trust God, and you take His yoke upon you and learn of Him, He'll give you peace to pass all understanding. You know what I'm saying? God will do that for you. You just have to look at it like it's a movie. You know what I mean? Life is what you make it. If you see your life is going to be miserable, then you're going to have a miserable life. But if you see your life is going to be adventurous, you're going to have an adventurous life, and you're going to enjoy all the adventures that come with it. All the obstacles. No matter, did you know, no matter what I went through, I didn't give up on it. There was times it, I wanted to give up, but I'm a warrior. You know why? Because I decided to be that warrior. And I said, I'm, is this is a game, I'm going to beat that game. And I beat that game. I beat every obstacle that ever came to me. God would not give you the more you can handle you got to know who you are in God. And you've got, first and foremost, is you got to know who God is. If God for you, who could be against you? No matter what obstacle come your way, man, it can't stop you. You're unstoppable because you got somebody who is unstoppable. You understand what I'm saying? But if you get in the way with God, you're your own downfall based on the decisions you make. Not letting the Lord make the decisions for you. Remember what Jesus said? Not my will, but thy will be done. Let God will be done. Try, stop trying to figure out life. And just trust God. This whole situation is based on trust. So to sum it up, look, if you have to be insecure about a particular person going here or there on a certain particular time, just trust God and let God reward you. Ask God to reveal things to you, but don't be insecure. No matter what happens, let it be God's will. Don't worry about what people are doing. Worry about <coughs> your relationship with God. You know what I mean? Just trust God. That's all I can say. I just decided to do a little video recording. You know what I'm saying? I was bored, so I told someone I was going to do that. Just know where I'm located at and whatever. But I'm bitter everywhere because God lead me everywhere. And I'm, right now I'm still training, and God gave me a rating on my journey. So stay tuned for that. God bless you.